Hey, Bass. Oh, no, no, no. No shame in taking respite from the heat. Drink, shade. It's ungodly for travelers, party or otherwise. <laughs> now, what's funny? Perhaps I merely mean to finish the work at hand, as requested, and as paid for. Something rubs you wrongly. I offer you the opportunity to speak on it. Well, you ask plainly, so I will tell you plainly. What amused me just then was your concern for my well-being in this heat, when, quite frankly, the condition of your laborers... The condition of my laborers? It is horrid. The hell? It's all wrong. All wrong, Mr. Epps. They ain't hired help. They're my property. You say that with pride. I say it as fact. This conversation concerns what is factual and what is not. Then it must be said that there is no justice, no righteousness in this slavery. But you do open up an interesting question. What right have you to your niggas when you come down to the point? What right? Mm. I bought them. I paid for them. Of course you did, and the law says you have the right to hold the nigger. But begging the law's pardon, it lies. Suppose they pass a law taking away your liberty, making you a slave. Suppose. That ain't a supposable case. Laws change, Apps. Universal truths are constant. It is a fact, a plain and simple fact, that what is true and right is true and right for all. White and black alike. You compare me to a nigger, Bass? I'm only asking in the eyes of God, what is the difference? 